We have three more award presentations today, so appreciate everyone being with us. Um, our next presenter is a very special member of our youth jury this year. Uh, Yara is here to present our best in youth documentary and I'll uh, give a quick intro of Yara as she gets ready to speak. Um, she's a boarding student at the Webb School of California, currently skipping class to be in this presentation. So we really appreciate your teacher giving you permission to do that and recognizing the importance of your hobbies that are becoming your careers and your passions. Um, after taking a class on media for social change, Yara developed an interest in filmmaking as a means for amplifying women's voices for justice and served as a member of our jury, providing critical analysis and feedback of the films, which she's here to share today. So thank you so much for being here, Yara. We're so glad to have you join us. And the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. What an amazing award ceremony. Hearing these stories is incredibly inspiring. And I'm so proud to be here today presenting this award and $500 of prize money to the winner of the best youth documentary. This category is defined as a documentary film by a 14 to 25 year old, which displays great overall potential, reflecting the filmmaker's keen interest in social change concerning women and or girls and the talent necessary to execute their project. Our choice for best youth documentary, Baby Blues, was submitted to the festival and was the only youth documentary that met the criteria of our festival. In an impactful eight minutes and 50 seconds, this film is a look at how postnatal depression can ruin new mothers' lives. Baby Blues is artful, genuine, and inspiring. It demonstrates that feelings which are disregarded as having the baby blues can be life-threatening. Topics like motherhood, depression, childhood, trauma, and suicide are discussed respectfully, especially because they came straight from the source, Elena Rafferty. Through the interview, through the interview format, cuts to artful scenes of a young woman doing chores in the house to care for her children and walking towards the windy ocean highlighted Rafferty's emotional experience as she told her story. Something truly special about this short film is that it left space to talk about recovery, seeking help, and hope. Overall, this short film exemplified wonderfully how to thoughtfully engage people in learning about a heavy topic while leaving them with hope. And I love it very much. And I'm so happy to present it with this award. I just devastated that I missed my opportunity. I missed the opportunity that I had laid out to end my life. So my baby was born four weeks early through emergency C-section. So I was put asleep and she was born and I was in surgery for four hours after. So it was traumatic. When you have your baby and you're given this little person, love hits you. Like you're hit with a truck by all this love. No, I think you think it's all going to be like cuddles and kisses and you know, dressing your baby up and taking your baby for walks, but it's a lot of sleepless nights and it's a lot of stress and worry. And you have this little human who solely depends on you for survival. And even though I was on top of all of the laundry and the bathing of the children, the child I'm caring for, I felt like I was failing still. Thank you, Yara, for being with us to present. I don't believe we have the winning filmmakers with us for Baby Blues, but we'll make sure that they uh, get recognized for their contributions to the festival. Um, I'm so pleased to bring up our next presenter, who is a new member of our Girls Voices Now program this summer and a, a longtime member of the Women Voices Now family serving as an advisory board member for our organization. Um, Bonnie Ayala, if you would like to join us to present this next award uh, for best short documentary film. 
Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. My name is Bonnie. I am so honored to be here to present the award for the best short documentary. I have served as an advisory board member to Women Voices Now and will be joining the Girl Voices Now program this summer to support our youth in filmmaking. It is actually one of uh, my passions, so I'm so excited. Um, in my heart, the art of storytelling is one of the most important acts of service we can do. It takes bravery and gives freedom to those receiving the story to turn around and share theirs. Um, on to this incredible award that we are presenting today. Our short jury determined this year's winner would be a film that raises the important issues of gender-based discrimination in the field of surgery. This film is a call of action which is concrete and has an attainable goal. 1001 Cuts explores the careers of women who are the children of Title IX through the experiences of surgeons. This film documents the pervasive stereotypes and gender-based discrimination that persist persists within workplaces designed for and still controlled by men. We are so proud to award this year's best short documentary and $2,000 cash prize to 1,000 Cuts by Sarah M. Temkin. We would also like to give an honorable mention to the film Testimony of Anna. Please enjoy this clip and we invite Sarah to join us after to share a few words. There's a riddle where a boy and his father are in a car crash. And the car crashes and the father is killed. Oh, that's so sad. Jesus, oh, you're screwing. And the boys rush to the hospital. The doctor looks at him and says, I can't operate on this boy. He's my son. Now, how is that possible? Hmm? How is that possible? The father was a priest, right? Like a, a Catholic father. No, it was a real father and his real son. Is it a case of mistaken identity? That's wrong. Oh, of course. Well, how can you be so sure? You don't know the answer. Well, I know what it ain't the answer. Box ticket, fellas. All right, what about if uh, if the father married the son's daughter? It's a family riddle, really. You got you got to think clean thoughts. Hey, give us a little hint. You want a hint, Clint? A little hint. All right. The doctor's a woman. The doctor's a woman. The surgeon was the boy's mother. That's wrong. That's a real right. You know what? I never entered my head that a woman could be a surgeon. Look at the way I've been trained to think. Like a chauvinist. Right. Well, if that's the answer, that's the dumbest riddle I ever heard. What the hell have I heard a woman say? Congratulations to Sarah M. Temkin on this award. I don't believe Sarah's with us today, um, but we're incredibly grateful um, for her contribution to the festival. I love that trailer or that uh, little clip so much. And I think it's just the perfect teaser um, to remind you all that you have a chance, if you haven't already, to watch all of these films in the last week of our festival. We run through April 30th. So whether you're joining us online or with us today and you haven't yet had a chance, we encourage you to check out that festival. Um, we'll be sending out information as soon as the festival is over to ensure you have access to all those films. And if you're watching remotely, then there's still time to get a ticket and participate in this incredible showcase of films. So we are on to our final award of the day. I cannot believe it already. Um, this is our grand prize, the Leslie J. Sachs Grand Prize Award for Best Feature Film. Uh, we are really honored to have a special person um, presenting this award today. She wasn't able to be with us uh, to get together live, but she's with us by video. So I'll get that started in just a moment. Um, and in the meantime, I want to say that for the first time last year, our film festival recognized our grand prize winner with a special in-person screening opportunity. We brought the winner of our 2023 Women Voices Now Film Festival, uh, the film With This Breath I Fly, uh, to a screening in this, in Los Angeles uh, for community to join together, watch this film, and take part in a really incredible discussion. We're hopeful we can do something similar this year with our winning film and look forward to um, creating those opportunities with you to come. 
So without further ado, I'm going to pull up on the screen uh, Tali to present our Leslie J. Sachs Grand Prize Award for Best Feature Film. Hi, everyone voices now. I'm so honored by this opportunity to present the final award of the 2024 Women Voices Now Film Festival. The Leslie J.